Hello friends, welcome back to Raju Notes channel, your weekly current affairs update channel. Today we will do the updates from 5th of March to 12th of March. This week also, Russian and Ukrainian conflict has been predominantly in the news and that is what is happening. Probably now the sanctions and effects of the other countries on Russia is coming into fore. Russia has not halted its operation. It is still going ahead. It is pressing on, probably trying to acquire more land, then go on to a bargaining table. But uh, in that uh, same process, the MasterCard and the Visa cards have suspended their operations in Russia because of this uh, invasion. And even the pay company like PayPal also suspended its oper uh, operations in Russia, thereby putting a little... Uh, in, uh, I must say, a dent onto the Russian uh, currencies as far as the digital transactions are concerned. So, Russia has now turned to China's Union Pay and uh, along with its own operating systems of Mir Network. And this was uh, basically undertaken by the Bayer Bank, Russia's biggest lenders, and also with the Alpha and the Tinkoff banks. Well, a lesson for India. The India has been doing going on the right path. And that is where the important lies in your own rupee card and your own UPI payment systems. That is unique and India should further uh, strengthen this same thing. <clears throat> a new term has come into play now. This is called as a T-Bot. A T-Bot is a malware which was far recently seen in basically the QR code and barcode scanners or in the many kinds of uh, apps which you download from the Google Play. This T-Bot is designed to steal your <clears throat> data like passwords and text messages. This was very well embedded into this kind of uh, apps and they appeared so legitimate that even Google was not aware of this and this had just come into play and uh, Google could f just find out and it has immediately removed all these apps knowing known to have uh, such kind of uh, malware. But uh, you should be aware as to if if you if you somebody asks you what is a uh, write a word or write a note about T bot you should know what it is. So it's a basically a malware designed to steal your username, password, and text messages. Talking just as previously what we did, RBI has launched a 24 by 7 helpline called as Digi Sati. Again, you should know this. Digi Sati is the helpline for digital payment queries. This is uh, <clears throat> uh, very much useful for not only for the, uh, basically not for the urban population, but for the rural people with the smartphones, uh, sorry, feature phones in their hands and not the smartphones. So Digi Sati is there to help the customers with any kind of uh, digital payment queries. So this comes uh, with the instant payment system also called as UPI 123 pay. So remember these two words, one is the Digi Sati <clears throat> and second is UPI 123 pay for feature phone users. It is uh, something uh, used for your online transactions using a feature phone without needing an internet. So again, a good step for what uh, India is going into Atmanirbhar in every sector and what lessons we are learning from the Ukraine war. India, uh, in Indian cricketer, uh, basically we know that uh, Mankade was uh, referred to many places while playing in the cricket. We were uh, when uh, uh, when the baller is bowling and the uh, striker, not at the striker, the person who is at the runner's end, when he moves out of his crease towards the uh, striker, the baller stops his action midway and he stumps the uh, runner. So this used to be called as uh, uh, man carding and uh, it was always seen as a fo uh, unfair uh, play in the uh, cricketing textbooks. But now, as per the new laws announced by the MCC, the man carding has been removed from unfair play section to a run out section. So, this will now be uh, used very regularly and I think uh, all those cricket lovers will see a change that probably in a test match or in a one day you will see more wickets being taken now by this kind of a run out 
rather than uh, straight bowling etc so uh, th there were two roles which were newly announced one was this uh, man cutting which i have just covered and the second one is that use of saliva on the ball cricket ball has been uh, totally banned because post the covid and um, probably now i think uh, new rules will come in as to how to shine the uh, um, cricket ball to make it swing so we'll have to wait and see as to what will be allowed uh, to do this uh, indian reliance industries are stepping up in to supply the diesel to europe amidst the russia ukraine crisis as per a report uh the reliance uh, industries have deferred their maintenance for their jamnagar plant wherein they store the oil reserves and it is now increasing its crude oil processing in a bid to gain from the surge of the global demand and we know that there is uh, it has already sent in uh, a large amount of shipments of fuel to europe ever since russia has stopped Uh, it's uh, fuel and so as ukraine to the european union so this is also uh, a, a thing which goes to the indian favor so uh, there is an opportunity in every crisis so probably this is one of the opportunity what reliance is taking what in turn india is taking a good news now for the neat uh, undergraduate examination students the upper limit for appearing into the undergraduate medical entrance examination neat has been removed for all the candidates and initially the age limit was 25 for general category and 30 years for the reserved categories now this age limit has been taken off the decision was taken in the fourth nmc meet and the uh, directive is in a good step i must say this russian ukraine crisis has also given us a thought now as to if we see the infrastructure and the policies for setting up medical colleges in india now seriously needs a revamp and the rigid rules for setting up a medical colleges may maybe or should be taken off i think probably india will already already started looking into it and if you have seen a latest tweet from mahindra a uh, group of chairmen mahindra he said that he is already starting out a medical college post this ukrainian crisis so we it's a good thing that india will start uh, creating more seats for the doctors we already know or the world knows us as a pharma of uh, the world but let's uh, also go ahead and increase the seats for doctors wherein we should not be dependent on the other countries again a lesson from the ukraine and russian crisis a very big a very very big news coming in this week is that one day pakistan suddenly made an allegation that a high speed projectile which was traveling almost at a max 3 speed that is a, a, a speed of sound three times the speed of sound such a high speed uh, object took off from sirsa which is in haryana and it traveled across the border went into pakistan 120 kilometers and hit a particular place with luckily no uh, casualties on to the pakistan side and india did not respond to this if you particularly if you see this particular uh, picture you can see that initial pickup was at around uh, um, 1843 that is around 6 uh, 6 pm and then it traveled little little uh, southwest take a took a turn went almost up to uh, uh, northwest went uh, up almost into 124 kilometers turned its project shape uh, size again and then it impacted about 33 kilometers up north so if you see this projectile whatever pakistan was saying had a clear cut path this was picked up by its pakistani air defense radars and uh, india did not respond the very same day but next day a statement came in from ministry of defense and to our shock and surprise they did give out uh, a statement saying that it was uh, the missile was fired accidentally or it is said that during a routine maintenance a technical malfunction had led to firing of this missile this missile did not carry any warhead with it 
but yes it did did happen well this is a very big admission from coming from india now analysis what is this is it really so simple to fire a missile is it so easy for anyone to do uh, fire it accidentally are there any checks and balances to do it question mark i don't think it will be so easy for anyone to fire a missile of that kind of a nature now we know that it is uh, if it is traveling at um, 3 mac that means it has to be a brahmos missile and now was it a diversion at, uh, for the world community that india has launched a missile into pakistan so has russia asked for any favor to india or has us which is succumbing to the world pressures has asked anything in terms of help to do something to divert world attention number 1 number 2 has india tested its actual uh, weapons number 3 has india started using uh, the uh, took this as the to check the parameters of the pakistani armed forces or their preparedness are they ready if at all what are their immediate actions how can they react to if there is a projectile from us to them will it go to the con- uh, designated place again a working thing possible or at the, at the last i must say that it is conveying a message to probably stop either china or pakistan from carrying out any misadventure while the whole world is looking towards the russia and ukraine crisis so many analysis could be a point think over it there could be many reasons which could come out if you think about it but this could be one of my, it is as per my analysis that some of these could have certainly played an role while this thing has happened pakistan has formally inducted the chinese made multi role j10c fighters into its air, uh, air force and uh, we know that uh, they they have been pitching that these aircrafts are a match or a counter to india's rafale but we know as per their statistics the j10c does not chance uh, ch- uh, stand a chance to fight against the rafale aircraft though it has acquired 25 uh, j10c air jets from china but we are well aware of its engine capabilities and the problems it has been facing not uh, battle tested and so there might be a question or you might be asked to make a, or draw a comparison between the uh, chinese made j10c uh, fighter jets and the rafale aircrafts of france so be prepared and just be a uh, lookout for the features of these two aircrafts and finally the most happening news in the country the five states which went for assembly elections and the uh, states have given a superb mandate for people winning in their respective places the uh, gov uh, the uttar pradesh punjab uttarakhand goa and manipur were the ones which went for elections and bjp won elections in up with 255 seats which is comparatively little less than the last one but probably for the first time in the history of up elections a uh, pro incumbency has happened and a minister has been uh, put in, uh, chief minister has been put on to the chair for the second time while uh creating a history for the first time aam aadmi party has won punjab elections with 92 seats and it is likely uh it is kind of decimated the uh, con- congress party which was there from ages and also the very old uh, parties which is there with this aam aadmi party now becomes the kind of it is inching towards a national party and with the uh, its chief convener arvind kejriwal becoming a kind of a national a uh, politician in uttarakhand bjp has won uh, with 47 seats and also bjp as of now has the single largest party in goa though it could not attain the majority mark but probably it will come into an alliance with uh, the uh, independents and form a government so four out of five seats going straight to bjp one seat going to aam aadmi party and congress uh, kind of decimated in all the five states so what else is there we will have to wait and watch in the indian politics now the question in that how important is a opposition party necessary for a good democracy that is what we have to discuss and that is what we have to interpret 
well uh, that's all friends for this week's updates i'll see you soon with the next uh, set of updates next sunday and if you are uh, new to my channel or if you have been listening to me at least two times three times i'll request you please subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me i'll have probably more uh, people listening to me and spreading it more through you so please do subscribe to my channel i'll be very happy and if you have any questions to me leave your comments on the comment box and i shall certainly answer them the corona is not gone please don't get lax use your mask take care stay safe